Hello, Yoga. Hello. <laughs> what do you want this time? Uh, kind of a pixie. Okay. And uh, then uh, long. At the front. Long at the front. Yeah. Playable hairstyle. Yeah. Not too much color. And nope. certainly no color that lasts longer than a week. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, your turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now. Oops. That's a nice fast turn. Thank you. Hello, friends on YouTube. Gonna do yoga, sir. And uh, she wants a pixie hairstyle. So it's, now it's a little bit long and it's asymmetrical bob. And now I will change that. Leave the front a little bit longer, very playable, and make a nice jumpy hairstyle on top and take a lot of weight off the tea bag. Yeah. Ik ben benieuwd. <laughs> Denk je dat dat nodig is? Nee, eigenlijk niet. Nee, denk ik ook niet. Nou ja, ik denk altijd maar hoe meer je doet, hoe meer herinneringen mee, uh, ja, herinneringen je meeneemt. Dat is ook leuk. Ja hoor. Just wet hair. And now the first thing I'm going to do is kind of thin it out because she has a lot of hair. Oats van thick. So I take my thin incisor, put it deep in, and work till the ends. Every time take part of one and a half centimeters. Stay a little bit away from the natural fall because otherwise you had all small parts sticking out. Don't want that. The nice thing about this is that I can move more freely with the hair. And make a nicer haircut and she has nicer hair because when you have thick hair it's uh, difficult to play with it it dries slowly takes a long time and the nice thing about this thin incisor is that it has round teeth so you don't see what you cut Gives an ultra smooth cutting line. This way I travel all to the back and to the front of course. Now the last time I did her hair, I made a side shave, a short one because you see that it's grown back for about one and a half centimeters. Now I still do this because otherwise this is uh, much too thick. I will uh, get in with the slice technique. But also cut in with my thin incisor. You can see that there is more rest into the hair. Now it's already more playable than it was when we started. So now I start cutting on the top. Now I start cutting. From the fontanelle apart, apart to the front. This is the line that's connected to the back of the ears. So here's the ear. So to the back, I part this to the front and this to the back. The hair that lays to the back, I will cut shorter. That means that the part that I take up here is a lot more than the last time we did that. Leaving it on a length of about four and a half centimeters. And cut it with the uh, Point cut technique, so I don't want straight lines in it. Travel all the way around.
and the natural color is a gold uh, blonde. It's a little bit reddish stone in it, but not much. I think her color is wonderful. Me too. Yeah. So that's why we don't want to change that a lot. Nope. I will uh, color it on condition base, so no peroxides, no chemical colors, just a traditional conditioner with a color in it that washes out in less than a week. Only on bleached hair it stays in for two weeks or something like that, but not on natural hair, it gives only a nice glow to the hair. There you go, okay? I'll the lift up then. Ja, zeker. Veel meer uh, lucht in het haar. Ja. Ik heb ook mijn haar aan mijn handen. Ja. <laughs> With my largest Kiona scissor, I just slice it up. This do I, I do by slice cutting. The most hair I take up are on the skull bone. But I'm certain this gives no straight lines. And that's what I want. Stay in the running of a skull. Mooi knip techniek, hè? Zet de andere kant op. Je knipt het nou net zoals gedoken bier, zeg maar. Ja, zoiets. Het <laughs> klinkt wel heel erg grappig. Ja, het is ook heel leuk. Het is heel eigenzinnig. Ja. We see that it will be ultra playable. The best way to do it is just watch at the skull, the lines of the flow, and work in that. And when you do it in the slice cutting technique, you don't irritate the model or the customer that gets it. Because when you would slice it only, it would hurt a little, bit, a little bit more. I don't want her to be hurt. I'm hurt much more than you ever know. <laughs> wow, wow. Scissor over comb. Connect the neckline to the hair. I just cut it slicing out. And I love the sound of it, because it hears always very nice. The snapping of the hair and the blades playing together. Yeah, that is <laughs> Nou, maar dat is bij mij ook precies zo. Hè. Kijk, mijn filmpjes zijn al Nederlands talig. Eigenlijk, want ja, wij, jij en ik spreken Nederlands. Maar ja. ik, ik ben nog nooit in een Amerikaanse of Engelse salon geweest. Om in principe die taal te beheersen wat ik, zeg maar, salon technisch moet spreken. Nee. En dat is ook niet te zien. Want als ik dan naar YouTube ga kijken, degene die wat laten zien, zijn vaak van die overdreven uh, hartschreeuwerige figuurtjes. Die met een hoop Amerikaanse flair iets erop staan te knallen. Mm -hmm. Maar dat, ja, dat is niet wat ik wil doen. Ik wil gewoon een beetje lesgeven. Ja. Dus ik hou het veel rustiger. Ja, maar weet je, je houdt het ook gewoon heel goed bij jezelf. En ik denk dat dat uh, iets moois is aan jouw filmpjes. Ze zijn ja. gewoon heel toegankelijk. Heel puur. Ze zijn inderdaad heel puur. Ja. Now travel over the runnings behind the ear in the opposite lines. Do this also slice cutting because I have to connect to the upper hair. Oh yeah, that's a very short stuff, naturally. Yeah. Ah, you also have to do it. Yeah, that's also a good thing. Mooi. Very good. Mooi. Very good. 
vind het op zich niet lelijk. Ik laat het nu ietsjes voor. The thing I'm going to do now is to give a playable front. I can work the hairs up. It may have a jumpy effect on this side. It looks easier than it is. Because you have to follow the natural lines. If you don't do that, yeah, it becomes nothing. It's a little bit like black hair uh, cutting. The way this goes. Then you set it all up and cut it in the, in the shape. The same I do. Only it's uh, not black hair. We don't have it a lot in Holland. Especially not where we live. When we go to Amsterdam, Rotterdam, there you have it a lot. But they go all to their own hairdressers. And don't go that often to uh, white saloons. So we mix not that well in Holland. For me hair is hair, it has always been, no matter which color we wear, and are. Make a nice thin side beard. Heb je ook herfstvakantie gehad? Ja. Lekker. Zeker. Maar wel een uh, weekje eerder dan jullie. Oké. Okay. Noorden, hè? Ja. Dus het is iets anders. Now I take the hair of the other side over to the shorter side. And this I just connect in a freehand style. Ja, wel, precies. Ja, leuk, hè? Ik ben benieuwd hoe dat uitziet bij mijn gala jurk. Gaaf. Je kunt het ook nog heel netjes leggen. Dat is juist leuk om een beetje puntje te doen. De contrast is wel groot. Nou, de longer hair aside. Blijf leuk een beetje hangen. Get into the same line as the eyebrow line and connect to the part behind the ear. Make it similar as the other side. It's nice short, nice flowing, no hard lines, just nice softy pixie style. With a touch of punky. Can <laughs> look like touch of punky. Aan de buitenkant dan. Ja, ja, ja. Ik moet wel altijd vet veel doen en dat doe ik dan niet. <laughs> en dan wordt het minder zen van. Ja. Ja, ook een beetje, een beetje niet slim eigenlijk, hè? Nee, maar ik. Ja, nee, zeker niet. Ik kan me er nooit toe zetten. Nee. Clean line with a small clipper. Dit is also on the contour line. Minor adjustments to the connection. Especially the part behind the ear, because there's more difficult to come with a scissor. All things are possible, but when it can be done easy, why should you worry about it? The front, take it to the back. Follow the lines.
connect them to the hair on the back. Take a new line on it. Part every time about a centimeter hair. Lay it in the same roundings. She has wonderful ears. I love ears. It's for me as a hairdresser, ears can be an inspiration of the hairstyle I'm going to make. Nee, maar dit is wel grappig dat je dat op een gegeven moment hebt. Ik zou wel op een gegeven moment wel heel lang aan iemand willen knippen. Gewoon echt heel lang door blijven gaan. Ja, maar moet je eigenlijk iemand met enorm lang haar en dan gewoon steeds ja, korter kassen? Ja, dat heb ik wel eens gedaan in zeven stappen. Nou, helemaal kort. Cool. Leuk. Maar toen deed ik nog geen YouTube maken. Maar zulke modellen vind ik wel leuk. Alleen, je kunt dat niet met haar doneren. Dan krijg je dat gezuur weer. Oh ja. Nou, mijn haar had ik ook niet moeten doen. Doneer, dat is helemaal uh, dood. <laughs> Connect the side beard to the side. To set it in the same line. It is only on this side. Nou, Ik ben echt heel benieuwd dat het wordt. <laughs> nou, alleen some slice techniques from the front into the, the longer hair. So it will be a lot playable. It's gewoon leuk kapsel. Ik And it roughens the hairstyle, because otherwise you get a straight line. And don't want a straight line in it because it's a, a punky way of cutting hair. Minor adjustments to the fall, so she can play a little bit more with it. On the crown I give it also a slice technique, so it looks more nice. And the crown is not the tough thing that he or she thinks he is. It's all time with crown, die al altijd de baas spelen. Soft on the front line. Just gently slice a little bit, not too much. This is her hairstyle. Nice feminine pixie. With my razor knife, clean the contour. I put it on now as a, a conditioner. It's uh, from Lac May. It's a red copper combination. And the nice thing about uh, the, the conditioners is that the quality of the hair comes into a higher level. Um, it's th it lasts for about a week and then it's out of the hair. So you don't color it uh, deep. It don't goes into the hair, just on the outside. It's of course free of everything. No parabene and nothing in it. Nothing that harms the model or the, the client and I just want to show you how wonderful this is it, it, in, because it's autumn outside and uh, the leaves are falling at this moment so I just bring the wonderful leaf outside after this <laughs> you will feel wonderful between the leaves <laughs> enough? I will oh, yeah. <laughs> sure it's a nice thing to try out colors. They have it in uh, violet, they have it in purple, they have it in uh, red, in copper and in gold. So there are a lot of possibilities and everything can be mixed together. This I just close and wait uh, for 50 minutes. At home you can leave it in as long as you want. Then I rinse it out and be back to dry the hair. That is also quite snack. Absolutely. Hello, we're back. You see what the conditioner does to the hair. It's a combination between red and copper. 
just leave it in for uh, 15 minutes with a little bit of heat and then this is the result so you now I'm just going to blow dry it uh, with the use of my fingers what I put on was a plumber of Lanza and with styling I'll stay in the lines of Lanza because she has also lovely hair but I love it when it's not hard I love it when it's soft soft falling nice shining so I add some glow on it by using a soft wax just pull the hair a little bit not too much because then she gets out of my chair <laughs> she's gonna hit me And that's a blow that we can not use over slaan, eh? Yeah, it's a little bit of 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 a little <laughs> Lekker je bakjes erbij en zo. The hair must be dry, otherwise uh, the wax don't work that nice. Wat ze in Amerika vaak doen is uh, zo'n naam hebben als jij, is hun tweede naam gebruiken als ze die hebben. Ja, maar ik heb wel een doopnaam. Wat heb je? Ik heb wel een doopnaam. Oké. Okay. Johanna Beatrix. Oké. Okay. Dus ik zou wel Joanne kunnen heten ja, of zo. Ja, dat lijkt me wel makkelijk. Ja. Want het is iets meer uh, internationaal. Ja, inderdaad. Ja, maar ik kijk... Joke, je schrijft het als grapje en ze kunnen het ook niet uitspreken. Nee, ze kunnen niet uitspreken. We talk about our names. My name is Theo Knoop. Kapper. We use the name hairdresser. And Knoop is button. She is called Joke. And you call it Joke. And she has schop. And that's a shuffle. So her name is even a little bit more weird. When you be on uh, international TV or on the internet, so we call her Johanna. Otherwise, she gets one of the dirty jokes about the joke. <laughs> There's nothing to joke about. It's a very serious business to cut someone's hair. Sure. Because it lasts for more than six, seven weeks, and when you're not happy with it, it's terrible to have it. That can I not say about this color. This color will be gone in a, in a week, at, at the maximum one and a half week, and then it's totally out of the hair. What I use now is a soft wax of Lanza, Divine. Make it nice and warm between my hands, and put it between my fingers. This roughens the hairstyle a lot without making it a hard hairstyle so she can get with her hands in, play with her hair. She can even lace it to the back. So it's a more boyish hairstyle. Mm -hmm. It's a multifunctional hairstyle for short hair. This is Johanna's new hairstyle. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> Weird. Feminine. <laughs> uh, feminine. She's a mooi uit. I think she looks stunning. Wait a minute, please. Okay. 
Oké okay, Johanna, you may turn for you and the rest of the world and show what you have now. And I find you stunning. Thank you for modeling for me. It was a pleasure. <laughs> for me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs>